Here we go. You excited? I'm excited. It's only 14% chance of working. <laughs> and we got three tries. Okay, so really funny, before I get into today's video, <laughs> I just got to the location for my fertility clinic. It's a different location. It's a huge parking lot, like ginormous. And it's empty because it's Sunday morning. And I'm like, you know what? There's a few cars up front. Let me park in the back of this parking lot and just be away from everybody so I can put my camera out and not feel like an idiot, as I often do. And uh, as soon as I put the camera up, I start talking to it. This car pulls up into the one parking spot next to me. I parked two from the end because I thought I was going to hit the curb. But they pull up right next to me in this, like, potentially thousand space parking lot. It goes, it's huge. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? And I was loud. I was loud. And, uh, I guess, well, I thought I scared him away, um, because they immediately pulled out and they pulled out and they pulled back onto the road. It turns right out there. And I looked at the back and it said student driver. So now I feel like a jerk. Whoever was teaching them was probably like, oh, look, this idiot parked like crooked. Try and park next to them. So you're welcome for the learning opportunity. Anyways, I am here this morning. I am getting another follicle scan to see if we made it to 18 millimeters. Um, I'm nervous. I, I don't know why. I know why. It's because if I did make it to 18, I have to inject myself tonight. So that's a little scary. I know that I have been doing injections for quite some time now, but they are pens. I don't do syringes. I mean, here's the thing. I've given lots of injections because I was a nurse. I gave vaccines, I was a diabetic nurse, so I gave lots of insulin. Subcutaneous injections are nothing new to me, except that I've never done it on myself with a syringe where I can see the needle, I'm in control of the needle. So if I am at the right size, that's my plan tonight. That's what I was told. If not, I will come back in for another monitoring appointment, which I would assume would probably be tomorrow if I'm getting close to the right size. So, oh my gosh. This location though, took me about an hour to get to. Um, for my Pennsylvania and New Jersey friends, it's near King of Prussia. Like I passed the King of Prussia mall on the way here. So it felt, it felt a lot longer than when I drive to fluids. That drive seems a lot easier than this. Um, but I, you know, I got here fine. I'm really looking forward to see what happens today. It kind of will tell me Thanks, Google. It'll tell me kind of when I'm going to go in for the first IUI. That is insane. Um, of course, there is that hurdle of taking the trigger shot, but we'll get through it. It will be fine. And, um, wow, I'm, I can't believe I'm here. I'm setting my expectations realistically, of course, because the, the chance for any of these IUIs to work is only 14%, but that feels like the closest I've ever been because I never assumed I would be able to get pregnant on my own. So I also just didn't realize the amount of time that goes into all this fertility stuff, even though it's still considered a low tech fertility treatment. There is, there's a lot of appointments. There's a lot of monitoring and a lot of stuff you have to do. And I feel like my brain has been scattered. I've kind of been all over the place. It's just, it's a lot of time and effort taken away from everyday life. Anyways, um, all right, let's head on in. If I can find the right building, let's head on in and see how big my follicle got. All right, I am all done the appointment. Um, 
I am not ready yet. <laughs> I think the largest uh, egg on the left side of the largest follicle was 16.9. I think another one, I forget what she said. I know that the biggest one is 16.9 ish. And it looks like there are actually three on my left ovary, but the third one was the smallest, either 12 or 13. So I'll get a call later today. They did do blood work as well. I'll get a call later today from a nurse telling me what the plan is, but I don't think I'm going to trigger tonight, which is totally fine. Gives me an extra day or two. I just don't know if that means I have to come back tomorrow, and tomorrow is a holiday. So am I going to have to drive back here? I didn't think of it till I was leaving, and I was like, oh, man, I really don't want to have to drive back here. It's okay. Uh, you know, this is just how it works. It's not always going to work out perfectly. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, what they want me to do. I'll keep you guys updated. It just is annoying. Every fertility or every um, monitoring appointment is 50 bucks for copay. So <laughs> all right, let's get on the road to head home. It's just so quick. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated. This is Oh, awesome. How are you? I am not. Am I able to do that now? As you just saw, I just got the call. <laughs> Zach is next to me here, but we won't show him right now. Um, I have done my makeup. Oh, yes. It's your makeup that's missing. <laughs> um, and my bad head. <laughs> But I got the call, so it actually works out better how this is going. I'm going to go in Tuesday for another follicle scan. Um, so she just said I made it to a 17. They told me a 16.9, but that's close enough. 17 for the one follicle, 14 for the other one, and they didn't even say the third one because it was, I guess, too small to even. Like, they're not even counting that one. Um... And my estrogen level, I guess, is going the way it's supposed to be going. I don't know what she said it was. But, um, yeah, so I'll go in two days from now. Fantastic. That means I don't have to drive to King of Prussia. <laughs> Yay! I only have to go 25 minutes. So, there we go. That's the update. I'll check in with you guys in two days. Let me just turn that down. Um, good morning. So it is, I don't even know what cycle day it is. I think it's cycle day 14 and uh, I'm going in for another follicle scan and hopefully today is the day that they see at least one follicle big enough, at least 18 and I can trigger tonight. Ah! It's obviously very early. The sun hasn't even risen yet because uh, they needed to make my appointment very early at 7 a.m. this morning. Um, I did have it for 8.45, and then I realized that Zach needs my car to go to work, so I have to go earlier before he has to leave. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now, and um, we'll see what size we have gotten to. Okay, well... You can probably guess how things turned out. Eee! If you didn't know, this contains a specimen cup. So we're there, we're there. Zach and I made guesses last night on how big the follicle would be, the dominant one. And he said 19 and a half and I said 20 and a half. And we're both wrong because it's 24. I, in the past, when I am near ovulation, I have been pretty sure that I felt some mild cramps, some small little twinges here and there. And I think it's confirmed because uh, I am, I can feel it. Like I can absolutely feel my left ovary and it's so weird. So I told the nurse practitioner who did my ultrasound this morning that like, I'm pretty sure I can feel this because I am cramping. And she was like, yeah, makes sense with your, <laughs> your big uh, follicle going on there. So eee! I do have to wait for the blood work because I also got that done again. Um, and they're gonna give me a call later today, but yeah, my uterine lining looked great too. It was almost an 11. She said that they like to see at least an eight uh, around this time for ovulation, or at least for when I do the trigger shot. So as long as all the blood work looks great, then I will be giving myself an injection this evening. That's okay. Well, we're gonna do it. It'll be fine. I'll be totally fine. I'm a little nervous, but it'll be okay. So, oh my God. I'm gonna check in with you guys a little bit later today. I didn't do this. All right, I have the Avadrel injection. Zach is sitting right here on the bathtub. <laughs> I'm nervous. 
I was told to take it between 6 p.m. and midnight. 7.41. Okay, perfect. But did you ask time zone? Do they mean Eastern or Pacific? I'm going to assume <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> All right, let me show you up close. There it is. Okay. Oh gosh, I don't like this. All right. Big scary are... needle. <laughs> <laughs> it probably isn't that big of a needle. It's just subcutaneous. So it's like, like, oh, my hands are so cold. My Humera needle is super tiny, um, but, okay, I'll just tuck this under my shirt. You guys see, okay. Oh, God. Does it all gotta go in you? Yeah. Honestly, the needle is not that bad. You can barely see it on camera, but it's still like scary. So you got to get the bowls out. So you just pull back a little bit and then push forward. There we go. doing my first injection. I felt like I was going to pass out there for a second. I did not enjoy that. I just felt like I was going to pass out. Woo. I did not enjoy that. I didn't enjoy it either and I had to do it myself. Oh, it hurts. Oh, 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 oh it hurts. <laughs> Want that thing near me, it's scary. <laughs> I'm tearing up, it hurts. Oh, it was it's real not bad. Humera. Oh. I like the Humera Perfect. where it's like spring loaded, just twink. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I didn't like that. Oh, oh that kind of sucked. I didn't like that. I did it. I did it quick. I didn't delay. I just did it. I didn't like that at all. I'm like, oh. Did you put that whole thing in you? Yes, I did. Ah. They, they don't have uh, easier means. <laughs> All right, we're done. I did it. <laughs> Does it feel like a mosquito bite or a bee sting or? Like, I don't know. It hurts. It hurts now. Hit me. I don't want you just poking yourself. I'm surprised they don't have like a better way of capping this, but. Okay, I did it. So now, um, well, I guess when this absorbs, I could take a pregnancy test and I'm pretty sure it'd be positive. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I don't like that thing. <laughs> I didn't like that. That was worse than I thought it was going to be. Do you see why I was nervous? <laughs> yeah. I would not have done well. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Uh, you have to dissociate. I was like, oh, this is somebody else's skin. I'm doing this too. I would have put that in my buttock. That's worse. Is it? Yeah, I think the butt hurts more. Oh, I feel like that would hurt less. I've gotten a couple of butt shots. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> How's your... Ooh, that looks bruised. Oh, it is br It's already bruising. Ah. Don't look at it. Don't make that face. You did great. I did great. <laughs> Painless. You did great. <sighs> okay. Avadrill is done. So emphasis on the drill. Thirty six <laughs> hours. Well, no, like forty hours from now, I get an IUI. That hurt like a. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today is IUI day. Oh my gosh, we're here. Um, wow. So yeah, you saw in the last clip that I took the Avadrel and. That was rough. I'm gonna be honest with you. That was that was tough for me to do. Um, I'm not new to giving injections, but when you see the needle facing you, I got a bit lightheaded when I was doing it. So um, yeah. And the funny thing is, 
is that I filmed a Stoma Cloak video yesterday. So I did the shot the night before yesterday. Um, but when I was filming my belly to show the ostomy cover on my ostomy, I didn't realize that the bruise would be so prominent. It's, it's definitely there, so... <sighs> yeah, um, anyways, the interesting thing about the Avadrel is that you will test positive for pregnancy. So it is, I guess it's just um, HCG or it's very similar to HCG. So I'll show ya. That is a positive pregnancy test there. Um, I've been testing, I, I, you can't really, you can't really take these for anything. That's an LH strip um, because it's all fake. <laughs> It's all the hormones you're adding to your body um, to get it to do what it's supposed to do, but I'm still just tracking it. The hope with this is that the second line will get lighter and lighter, and then hopefully starts getting darker, because then we're working the Avatrel out of my system, and hopefully real HCG replaces it. But we shall see, again, trying to keep my expectations realistic with this. Um, I'm about to go outside, take a little walk with the dogs, because after I get the IUI, I want to lay down for a few hours. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but I'm gonna. Um, probably wouldn't hurt anything to do that, so. And then my plan is to, every morning, do a walk to hopefully, I don't know, increase the blood flow to my uterus, to hopefully help with implantation, if it's gonna, if it's gonna do it. Um, and... Tomorrow morning, I'm starting vaginal suppositories of progesterone. So, big day ahead of us today. Here we go. You excited? I'm excited. It's only 14% chance of working. And we got three tries. <laughs> The moment Dude. of truth. So they're going to use the speculum to open. Is that the thing next to you? This is for the ultrasound. This is what I have been getting. Oh, okay. You know, I wonder if they're going to do blood work. I guess not. Hmm. <coughs> Any words for everybody? Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Checking back in. Because I was just asking, so... <laughs> What they kind of told you to do, or the process, or the procedure. They told me to take my pants off, so I took my pants off. Now they're gonna, they they washed your specimen, so it's just hopefully the healthy sperm. They'll probably tell us your mm -hmm. numbers again. Three. They, they take a catheter, which <laughs> it looks like it's right over there on the counter. Um, they take that catheter and put it through my cervix so it gets closer to like where my fallopian tubes I guess lead into the uterus. Yeah. Fun stuff. It's very interesting. So, and hopefully they can tell me how many follicles like uh, did their thing. Well, you had yeah, three. There's two, and then there was a third one that was smaller. Yeah. But I don't know how much it grows after Avadrel. She said like they can grow a little bit. So, we'll see. I'm not flashing anything. <laughs> now, you are as decent as you can be. Oh, How was it? It was, I mean, the speculum hurts, but. It wasn't it too was, bad for me. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're fine. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, once you, you know, got it all situated, it was fine. So, super quick, though. Like, five I was. Minutes. That was faster than I thought. Yes. Now you're just hanging out. Quite literally. Literally. <laughs> for five, ten minutes. And then you want Perkins for breakfast, brunch, lunch. Yes. It's good luck. That's what it I heard. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not bad. Yeah. Not at all. That was quick. That was super quick. It took longer for my part of it yeah I still need to look up what they do to wash it it's like, wild seeing in the little vial how yeah she little. handed me a tube with the little like washed healthy sperm and you had 97 percent motility and yeah. their total what was it the total, the total number they desire to have is above 5 million I was at 15 so 
Zach's numbers were fantastic. It's on me now. No, it's in you. <laughs> <laughs> that was romantic, don't you think? Yeah. Very. I didn't even get you dinner first, but I'll get you brunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I hope it works. Let's hang tight. Okay, we are leaving Perkins. Where did the thing go? I was trying to show the uh, the Perkins. Well, it's Perkins. You could trust me on that. <laughs> had a good breakfast. Um, actually, before we went into Perkins, Zach had to take a call. So I, I laid the chair back and put my feet up. <laughs> she was stirred up in the car. I was, because I don't know if gravity's going to help me. I'm going to try it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am feeling crampy, I will say. I was feeling crampy towards my left ovary, which is what has the follicles. Um, Righty's been quiet this cycle. So I was feeling crampy in the left ovary before I went in. Now I'm crampy in my uterus. And it, immediately after they put the, uh, the sperm in, I felt cramps. So hopefully that's good. Hopefully that means it's right where it needs to be. It's just wild. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. I'm done the first IUI technically, and now it's just a waiting game. It's just um, two weeks. So I have my blood pregnancy test planned for March 8th. <sighs> I will know before then. I fully intend to be taking pregnancy tests. Oh, there's a car accident. Yep. I thought maybe the lights were just out. I was curious too, but now someone got a, a T-boned. Oh no. I'm gonna pick the way that's a little stay. Yeah. Oh, there's a doggo. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I will keep you guys updated. Um, by the time this video goes up, I will know the results because <laughs> I'm waiting a while just to like feel comfortable. And uh, also if we have positive results, family, would know first. So. Aww. Yeah. Go ahead. What are you doing? Just to look at a car accident it wasn't that got. Even that bad one. No, this guy just stopped. <laughs> he just wanted to look at the car accident. It was weird so because he, he went around to get ahead of the truck and was slowing him up, which the trucks struggle uphill. You, up you could see that gears. he was fully like rubbernecking, like, yeah. whoa, <laughs> what's going on there? Oh, gosh. So. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, I we're gonna go home. Zach's gonna get back to work. He actually brought his work stuff with him, um, so that I think the day worked out pretty good. No like you didn't have a busy work day. No, I got a lot done earlier in the week, so it's been awesome. pretty. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and pretty I am open. going to probably take a nap. I'm gonna lie down in bed and then I have a call with somebody this evening. So that's my plan for today. Thank you so much for coming along on this ride with me. You're welcome. Well yeah you too you're you play a pretty important part in this. <laughs> I know I was required. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you did a great job. They said he did a great job. So with your numbers. I did. So <laughs> Anyways, thanks High so five, much. Zach. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.